welcome back to Headlines Now. Now, if the Met Department's guess is right, then many travelling back home tonight uh, from workplace might well get, get to see some light showers. A deep depression over East Central Bay of Bengal has now intensified into a cyclonic storm called Giri. It lays a centred and is likely to have an impact on the east coast. It would move northwards initially and then north-northeastwards and cross uh, North Myanmar and adjoining Bangladesh coasts by tomorrow. Right, but what impact is due for Chennai? Will Chennai get to see some light showers or some heavy thunder showers? For that, let's go across to our reporter Chandi, who has been keeping in touch with the Met Department. So, Chandi, what can I look forward to when I drive back home? Well, Ashmit, um, nothing really to worry about in terms of uh, a cyclone as such, because this particular deep depression, which has caused the cyclone, is um, quite far from the Indian coast. In fact, it's about 550 kilometers away from a place called Digga, which is in West Bengal. That's the closest it's got to any of the Indian shows. So nothing really for us to worry about in India. But uh, another cause of concern because of this is that uh, since the cyclone has developed, it has in turn caused a delay in the onset of the northeast monsoons, which usually come by this time. So um, the farmers will have to wait quite a bit now um, until they receive showers from the northeast monsoon. So um, you can drive home safely without any fear at all. All right, Chandi there. That was Chandi giving us the latest updates about what Chennai's can expect. Apparently, we are safe from any thunder showers or any heavy cyclonic, uh, uh, cyclonic trends that are developing. Moving ahead. In a big relief for Election Commission and the DMK government, the first bench of the Madras High Court today cleared a legal hurdle for the conduct of Legislative Council elections. Though the response for the enumeration of graduates and teachers for the Legislative Council elections is very poor, the court upheld the Election Commission's decision on enumeration by notification. The public interest litigation seeking door-to-door -door enumeration of graduates has been dismissed by the court. The court has said that the Commission has followed the prescribed rule and the petitioner is at liberty to seek an amendment before the appropriate forum. The DMK regime's attempts to revive the Legislative Council, which was abolished by late Chief Minister MGR in 1986, ran into legal hurdles after a series of petitions were filed against the hurried process. The dismissal of the petition of uh, Sathyala Ramakrishnan may serve as a deterrent against further litigations on the issue. Therefore, the court has now said that uh, they can't change the rule. Uh, and uh, the, it is not the case of the petitioner that the election commission is adopting a rule which is not permitted. Um, therefore, since they are strictly going according to the rules, the court said they, we can't interfere. If the petitioner wants to change the mode, it is for them to approach the appropriate authorities. The response is very, very poor. For example, even in today's papers, they say that in Madras, there are only 460 vote graduates who have enrolled as voters. We wanted uh, this honorable court to interfere and direct the election commission to adopt some other mode which will be more viable so that awareness is created among graduates and this election commission goes and does door-to-door -door enrollment for graduate voters. Now, after the IPL drama involving Rajasthan Royals, all eyes are on Kochi's prospects. What's in store for Team Kochi? Find out on the other side.